Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to walk through one of our new feature to create multiple clips from a long video. To use the feature, click on this button here in your dashboard. Now it's asking to upload your videos. I am going to drag one of my videos here. While it's busy uploading your video, there are a couple things that you can already start configuring here. First, you can tell it what sort of format you want your clips to be made in. I'm going to leave it at 9x16. You can describe the clips you want. This is an optional field, so you can add things like create clips talking about marketing, or you can be more specific by including part of the transcript you want included in your video. You can do all that in here. You could tell it what clip length you want it to be. So it could be less than 60 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds, or more than 90 seconds. There is also the option for auto, and that will tell the tool to pick the best clip length based on the clip it is suggesting for you. Lastly, you can pre-select your caption style. So there's a couple here. I'm just gonna pick this one. And once I'm happy, I'll click save. So now all I have to do is wait for my video to upload. All right, so my video has finished uploading and the tool has recommended some clips for me to start. It has suggested five clips. So here they are. There's a couple things I can do here. I can preview the clips. I think that at its core, marketing doesn't waver terribly. I can change the format here to either landscape, square, vertical. I'm just gonna keep it at vertical for now. And I can also choose to trim the clip if I wanted to shorten it or make it longer. So clicking on this, it will bring me to the transcript view. If I want to shorten this, I will drag this to where I want it to start. So right there, or I can even lengthen it a bit more if I wanted to. So maybe somewhere here. And you can use the preview to give you a bearing of where you're at in the video and you can preview what the trim would look like. Okay, so once I'm happy with the trim, you can click done. And yeah, you can do that for each of the clip here. If I want to create a new clip, I'll click on this button here. It asks me to describe the clip that I want to make. So I'm going to say, create a new clip that talks about building a marketing team. And I'm going to click on generate clip. So now the tool is going to find the best clip that talks about building a marketing team within the 60 to 90 second range. And there you go. It's made one for me here. And again, I can preview, change the format or trim it. So once I'm happy with the clips and the edits, I can click save. And this will bring me to the creator so I can do more further edits to the clips. I can do things like changing the crop. So for example, here, the crop needs to be a little more zoom in so I can do that. I can change the color of the text here by going to style, changing that to blue. I can also add new scenes into this. Yeah, I can add an outro scene here, share this video, and I can add a scene directly to my clip by highlighting the word and clicking add. And let's say I want to add this one. A couple things that you can do here. You can continue to add it this. You can swap to a different clip by clicking this drop down. And that's where you can navigate to all your other clips to continue editing them. Here you can do all the other edits that you did similarly from before. So once you're happy with all the edits, you can now click on publish and that will publish all six videos that you made from the tool. And that's it. That's how the new feature works.